fold in completely and you're going to have the person turn away from you, keeping them covered as much as possible. So Mrs. Smith, and me, put the arm over, I'm going to have you turn away from me, hip and shoulder, and they turn away. So now if you look at this person, what do you see right there? There's a sore. There's a sore, a possible sore. It's not open yet, but it's pink. What do you do? Oh, tell the nurse. nurse. Yep, so that they can come and look at it. Okay? Hey? You tell so, them right then and there when you finish putting this on properly. Actually, um, have them come back to their back, put the side rail up, bed down, signal light, make sure they're safe. Go get the nurse and have them come. Don't put this on because they're going to have to take it off to look at it. Right. Good question. Would you tell her or would you just Yeah. Wanna... Yeah. So, Mrs. Smith, I see that you have a little area here that is pink. It blanches well around it, but I'm going to have the nurse come and check it. Yep, they have the right to know what's going on. And yeah. that way um, you are not um, taking them, getting them too excited, but just saying, well, there's a skin, something starting on your skin here. We want to have the nurses come check it. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at a tens, the top, not the top here, but the top of the padding goes right at the waistline. So you're going to put the top of the padding at the waistline. And then tuck it underneath them. You can go ahead and tuck this between the legs. Put that really big and you can hardly, when you're doing it by yourself and you can hardly move them. It's a whole different ball. Yeah, they're luckily in the care center setting. If they're really big, we have two people. So yeah. they're going to come to their back so. and then they're going to come to this side. So arm comes over, knee comes up. Different shoulder and lay it up flat on this side. Okay, again making sure that stays right about waist level. Okay, go back to your back. Now you're going to want to bring, without pulling this against their skin, bring the attends up, kind of opening the legs if you can to bring it up into the creases so that um, liquid and feces cannot go out of the attends. You can cover them off. And <laughs> what I like to do, some people want the plastic tucked all the way around them. Some people go ahead and roll it up a little bit. It'll depend on your resident how they want it to do it. Then you take your tabs and you bring them up and they stick. And you need to make it snug enough so that it's not going to leak, but not you don't want it wrapped really tight around them here because what happens when they sit up in the chair? Things expand, okay? And that way you could actually be causing sores. So you're going to bring your wings up. When you do these on yourself, I want you to actually stand up so that you... Um, get an idea of what they feel like on up. So that would be um, a nicely put on a tent. And again, this is kind of a big size for her, but that would be okay. So now if you're gonna put pants on for somebody, the easy way to do it, again, is to spread the pants out, go from the leg up. Okay, gently and easily grab the foot thread it on, your hand is protecting the toes so no toes are getting caught in the material, getting stretched out. They actually have a rule that you have to have two people to do it at all times. You never left by yourself to do it. Um, while in you're facility. in uh, that facility, our students are never left by themselves. Students. So you have to be with an NA. Their NAs and are going by to, themselves. Yeah. That's what I meant in the real Yeah, in, the, yeah. in that world. Now there, if there's a resident that's too big for one person, then they make them two people. So luckily that's you have some backup. Yeah. But that's not it in, you know, all here settings no, as you run not. up. Okay, so now you're gonna bend the knee and pull the pant leg up. Don't worry about pulling it up too far. You can always pull it down later on. So now you're going to get it up as far as you possibly can to start with, making sure the center line of the garment is center line of the body. Okay, Mrs. Smith, I'm going to have you turn to the side and bend the knee, bend the shoulder and hip, and 
now you can bring this part of the garment up and you pull up as much as here. Again, center line with the center line of the body, all the way up to the waist. Have you come to your back. And then head to turn towards me. Okay, and now you can pull the other side up. Again, watching so that the center line is at the center line of the body. And you have to feel for it. And now you have the pants on nicely. They aren't off to the side where they're going to be really uncomfortable I'm when you get up. <laughs> yep. And now you can go ahead and ease those down a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Easy way to do it. Easy on the residents. Sometimes you have to roll them two or three times especially with big people, and that's fine. You roll them, you pull up. You don't want to be pulling pants from underneath because you're going to rip skin, but sometimes you have to roll them two or three times, and most people are used to that, and they're okay with that. But the tabs were the best. I had an experience at the adult family home. Mm -hmm. I was running it by myself. There was just two or three, two people, but I was trying to, my poor resident, trying to peel back the thing forever. Mm -hmm. Well, the ones he had didn't do that. It had a spot. It didn't, sorry, it didn't look like it was uh -huh. sticky. And you weren't, weren't supposed to peel this back, but it looked like this. Yeah. And you were supposed to just, it, it had a like a white sticker here. You are supposed to just stick it. And that drove me nuts. So I just thought I'd mention that yeah. some of them are different. Yep, some of them do, depends oh on God. the side. Every person <laughs> will have their own brand. Every person will have their own.